Welcome to part two of the how to install another device to your McAfee LiveSafe subscription. Okay, so following on from part one, you will have received an email to install the tablet on your subscription. So this is the email that you can see here. You have a download now button there with an activation code underneath. You might want to make a note of the activation code just in case you need it during the installation. So we'll just crack straight on and go for download now. Okay. Okay, so it takes you to McAfee LiveSafe to download the software. Click download when you're ready. It will then take you to the Play Store to install the software. Okay, information about it here. You can have a little look through if you choose to. Good five star ratings. Also gives you options for other apps and stuff as well. Okay, so when you're happy, click on install and accept and then that will begin to install to the tablet. Okay, now the installation is complete, click on open. That will load up McAfee Mobile Security. Right, now you have your welcome screens. So welcome to McAfee LiveSafe. You scroll through these. Basically gives you some information about other, other products and services that you might be interested in installing on the device. Things like safe key and personal locker. And then once you're happy, just click continue. Okay, the first thing it'll ask you to do is to create a six digit pin. So we are literally just gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. Re-enter the pin, one, two, three, four, five, six, and click next. And this is your mobile dashboard. So first things that it will do is it will start a security scan, which will basically scan the tablet to uh, make sure that everything's okay on the device. And underneath there on privacy, it will scan the installed applications on the device to make sure that they're all good as well. Web security is fine at the moment, indicated by the green tick, but you've got two orange boxes underneath, one for backup and one for find device. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on each of these in turn, because we want them all to be green. So first things first, we'll click backup. It'll ask you if you would like to set up auto backup. Now basically auto backup, every time you plug your device in to charge it, it will back up your selected information to the secure McAfee cloud. So we're going to put the auto backup on and then press close. Okay and now to start the backup off and to get rid of the orange box we're going to go into backup and we're going to back up contacts. Okay looking for new contacts it's found 36 on the tablet and it's backing them up now. Okay, now you'll notice that this one down here has gone green because we've completed the backup. Next one down is find device, so it says that uninstall protection is currently off. Now uninstall protection does exactly that. It protects it in the event that the tablet falls into the wrong hands. Uh, whoever has hold of it won't be able to uninstall the McAfee software so that you can still use some of these features to hopefully get your device back. You've got locate, lock, capture cam. Any one of those can help in the retrieval of your device if it does fall into the wrong hands. Okay, so we need to activate uninstall protection. So you click on uninstall protection there. Okay, and then it'll ask you if you'd like to activate, which we do. So click the activate button. And again, feel free to read through, click activate. 
and then it says that the uninstall protection is now on. So click finish and you'll notice that this section down here has now gone green as well. Okay, so that will now continue to scan the apps. If you do have any problems with any of the apps on the device, it will pop up and let you know and give you on-screen prompts of what you need to do. Uh, also with the security scan as well, once that's complete, it will do the same thing. Okay, that concludes how to add an additional device. This is now fully protected, and when you go back to your online dashboard, you'll see that it has a McAfee shield next to it rather than an exclamation mark to indicate that it now has full protection. Okay, I hope that's been okay for you. Any questions or comments, please leave them underneath, and I will see you on the next video.